You know what's great? Video games. You know what else is great? Wrestling. You know what's fantastic? Wrestling video games. Maybe we'll talk about that over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. The Wrestling Mayhem Show, that's right, it's another show. Brought to you by the fine folks at Sorgatron Media. Go and check it out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You'll love it. I probably promise. Welcome everyone to ever. Oh, I have that. Let me start that again. Right. Ready? It's time for everyone's favorite game show. That's not actually a game show. It's more of a podcast. Is that right, guys? It's time for Let's Play. All right. Uh, the salad. Joining us this week is, as always, Sorg. How you doing, Sorg? Hey. Chachi, how you doing? What up? And Riz, wait, Riz isn't here this week. He's in- how dare you call me Riz? He's on the beach. Joining us, our, our special guest, Mad Mike. How you doing, Mad Mike? Hi, I'm fantastic, Bobby. How are you? Pretty good. All right, it's a th- thing we do every week. Uh, what have we played, Sorg? What have you played this week? Absolutely nothing. Oh no! Oh, like literally, absolutely. I've had no time to play anything at all because I, I did as we talked about on Awesome Cast. I made the trip to New York City and played with this thing. I couldn't even download the sweet Battleship game that we talked about last week because they're over their quota. So I've been playing Facebook and Twitter games. Okay, well those are games. Sure. Did you play any on the bus? What <laughs> games? No, no, no. I didn't at all. I, I actually oh, no. Okay. I did not play. I don't think I opened a single game on my phone or anywhere else. Because I've literally been that busy. All right, so Sorg didn't play anything. So Chachi, what did you play? Um, I uh, played NHL 13. Okay. Um, Crush, Marvel's Avengers, and I downloaded um, Assassin's Creed 2 because it's the gold free or oh, gold member right. free game. Where do they one. notify you of those things? Because I haven't seen them pop up like to my notice I, yet. It, it's on. Uh, well, it's on when you turn on the Xbox. Okay. And I actually... Uh, Maybe that's my problem. I follow people that tweet it, so... Okay. okay. I think I actually skipped that one, so I might pick that up. Awesome. So, All right, Mad Mike, what'd you play this week? Uh, well, this week I played Avengers Alliance, of course. Um, Simpsons Tapped Out. Angry Birds Space. Lego Batman 2, just replaying it. Um... NHL 13, and Tekken Tag Turners for the Wii U. Nice. Hmm, nice. And I played Avengers Alliance, and the glitch, if, in case you missed it, um, they gave everybody, almost everybody that played PvP, I think you had to have like 50 attacks, they gave them Angel for free, and they said we can keep them, so that was nice of them. Nice. They gave, um, they gave you everything in the Adam. Yeah, they gave you they everything. Gave you the the 10 gold blaster... Gold. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I played Simpsons Tapped Out as well. Um, I'm really, really addicted to arcade craft, and I finally figured out how to how to keep your arcade going. Mm-hmm. Um, I played that free game that they offered last time, the Defense Force. Didn't really care for it, uh, but it was free. Um, and I I downloaded a terrible arcade game that I can't remember the name of. It was something something Dungeon. And I played Sleeping Dogs and got pretty far on it. So that's what I played this week. Didn't get to play The Last of Us um, because I was busy this weekend. So, yeah. And I did play The Challenge, uh, which was a boy and his blob. So did I. Uh, And you think it stood up? Um, I actually never played it as a kid. So it was a new experience for me. Um, It was an interesting game. I I think it could have been better served to actually show what the Jelly Beans did, but... It was an interesting game. Mm-hmm. Well, back in the day, they didn't have that sort of technology. You kind of had a trial by error. Yeah, I think I seem to recall <laughs> doing a lot for an NES game, right? Yeah. yeah. Like like that, that that idea that you well, you had these jelly beans and, and the blob would actually change into like a ladder or or, or some other object, right, for you to it, it, try to get if, through a puzzle. If the blob would catch him in its mouth because it's a dumbass and doesn't move correctly and. It always missed them for me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> do you have a limited number of jelly beans in that case? Yes, you do. Yeah. Oh, it no. Is. Yeah. So. And you absolutely need certain jelly beans to get to certain parts of the level. So. That's yeah, sinks. exactly. I couldn't figure it out. I was like, this game, I don't think it holds up. They did do a remake, <laughs> I saw, I think, for the Wii, yeah. right? So. Yes. Yeah. 
I don't think I got that either. No. So. All right, but um, Chachi, did you play the game, the challenge? No, I didn't. You didn't? Okay. No. Nope, All right, well, forgot. Mo- you forgot. Yeah, All right, moving on to our next thing, uh, things you should be made aware of. Um, guys, you remember Taylor Hicks from American Idol? Uh, nope. Nope. He, if you remembered, was the Soul Patrol guy from American Idol that actually won one of the seasons, which boggles everybody's mind how he won. But he was in the Super Smash Brothers tournament in EVO this week. No, oh, wow. They yeah. So he's untelevised in doing so. Yeah. No, he he was televised. Oh, he was. They they stream they that that's the other news. Um, Nintendo actually broke down and allowed it to stream, and it was actually the most popular stream of Evo in Evo history. They said nice. Um, but Taylor Hicks finished two hundred and seventy fifth or two hundred fifty seventh overall. But there were seven hundred registered users, so he actually didn't do a bad job. But he, he didn't win like he did on American Idol. Now, now who was his character of choice, Bobby? Um, it didn't say. It uh, just said he was in the tournament and he got 257th. Well, good for him. Not just resting on his laurels and on of of singing on a fake game show. Yep, Soul Patrol for life. <laughs> All right. Uh, another thing you should be aware of this this week is um, Skyrim mods on uh, PC. There were a whole bunch of new ones this week. Um, where they just oh no, were, were am I seeing this? this am week. I seeing what I think I'm seeing? There was a Dishonored one where they gave the Dovahkin Dishonored powers okay. from the game Dishonored. Okay. Um, there w- was a new one that uh, called Falskar that is basically an expansion pack with its own stories and characters for, that somebody made as a mod to Skyrim, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. And there was a Pokemon one that somebody made. Oh, the Pokemon one. <laughs> um, they turned the the rats in Skyrim into like Pikachus um, the dragons became Charizards you can throw spells that are Pokeballs at Pokemon and, and fight them against each other um, interesting mods that people are making out there so that's kind of cool so it kind of pays to have the PC version of this I uh, brother Stork I, saying I that he loves having the PC version of this I don't. I don't have a strong enough PC, but I would love to have one just for that. Those mods and for the GTA mods mm-hmm. that everybody does. But, and um, our final thing you should be aware, made aware of, um, guys. We're wrestling fans, so um, we are. The Ultimate Warrior is available in WWE w, WWE 2K14 as a pre-order item, um, and he come back in a special commercial that was on uh, online. And he's pretty crazy still. Why? Why is the article I have here is somebody wrapped around um, a ladder? Because that's what I was going to show you. The graphics are still awful, and if it's oh, anything no. reminiscent to uh, WWE 2K13, that up. is what you could expect that right there. Um, it's a picture. Up. It's a picture right. of Cody Rhodes. I can skip this here. All good. Wrapped around the ladder. I'm fine. Thank you. Um. Yeah. So in other nightmares. <laughs> All right, it's time to get to our news segment. Oh, Mike, uh, I think you, you, you have uh, some news on the Wii U that you got uh, to experience it firsthand. Well, I have a Wii U. Um, I bought it when it came out. I got it last year for Christmas. Mm-hmm. And I've been playing. I have Tank Tank Tank. I have Mario Brothers. I have Avengers. And I wanted to see what the new games were coming out were. Mm-hmm. Because I know I, they showed a E3. They showed a lot of them. And... It was cool. At my local Best Buy, they had an experience where they demoed Mario Kart 8, Mario 3D World, Wind Waker HD, and the new Donkey Kong Country, uh, subtitled Tropical Freeze, though they weren't (laughs) able to tell us why yet, because we just got to see a generic level and not really any story about it. But um, it was really interesting. They they drew a really good turnout uh, at the Best Buy to to, to try all the games. I tried Mario 3D World because I figured I, I saw a lot of people demo Mario Kart 8. That's the what graphics, I'm going for. The, uh, the graphics were really, really good. I mean, you know, it's HD now, so high quality stuff. Um, a lot of the tracks were like inverted, like they did in the Sega Racers. If you played that demo at your local Target or Walmart, um, they had a decent selection of characters that looked like they had expanded for a lot more. Uh, 3D World was really, really fun. They demoed the cat suit, 
that you got to see at the um, at E3, and I actually played the boss level. I was the first person to play the boss level there, and the boss seemed pretty easy. But then again, I don't know what level it was in, so it might have yeah. been one of the earlier levels. Could have been early one, yeah. Yeah. U- usually in demos, they are pretty early. Yeah. Um, Wind Waker HD. It looked beautiful. It really, really looked amazing. It was the longest demo there because it was one of the boss levels or you could just roam around the town trying to get the sword. But um, the controls seemed to handle pretty good. Uh, seemed very intuitive with comparing it to like GameCube and stuff like that and to uh, the Wii U, to the Wii and everything. And um, Donkey Kong Country, not really many people tried. I only saw one person do it and they did one of the cart levels, but it looked really cool. Awesome. So, I mean, this was, um, and th- this is this is what we heard about. That they were, this is what they were doing instead of E3 was this um, kind of you know tour. I guess it is right. Uh, yeah, uh, pretty uh, much. This early stuff. So, I, and you're somebody that's had a Wii U for a while. We've kind of like uh, kind of uh, talked about Wii for a while on this show and on the awesome cast, and be like, oh, I don't know, understand what Nintendo's doing. I don't even understand it. Most of us haven't got it in our hands. Uh, you know, as somebody who's played games on the Wii U for a while, how does it compare to the other consoles you have, uh, the other games? Do you feel like? Like there's a future. Is there? Do you feel like there's a future in this console? Do you feel like you made the right investment in this console? I'm questioning your dedication to Nintendo. I guess at this point. <laughs> so, I and what what are your impressions of it overall? I mean, well, it, I didn't really think there was going to be much more than an updated Wii with like new games, better graphics, things like that. But yeah. it's actually pretty interesting. Like, I love the fact that with some games you're able to play completely on the gamepad. Mm-hmm. Because I know more often than not, I've played Mario, uh, Super Mario Brothers on my gamepad if there's like a Yankee game on that I want to watch. Okay, That's a good idea. That's not bad. Yeah, and you can also, um, like once I'm finished with the game, the gamepad stays on, I can change, um, I can go back to my TV and just control via the guide on my cable box. So it's not Which just is, to entertain little kids when dad wants to watch something. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, it's not. I mean, if like, cause I mean, I'm kind of a lazy guy. My remote control is really far away, but I'm playing Wii U. Yeah. Boom. I can just change the channel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's very, very convenient. What about like the games? Like how much does the, in the games you have, I, I, I can't recall if there's any that really stuck out of ones that I know use the pad. Uh, itself yeah, it's, uh is, is there do you see much ingenuity there do you feel like like as far as i don't know does it feel like a next level of gaming over what the Wii brought us well it's a little difficult for me to go on with that because a lot of the gamepad stuff mm-hmm. you need multiple people to kind of interact with it so we need you to get more friends to really try it out Yes, yeah, like when I have played it with multiple people, mm-hmm. it's a lot more interesting. It yeah. definitely is. Because <laughs> I've gone to the Nintendo Store a bunch of times to try out new games and everything. Yeah. And when multiple, ple- when mu- multiple people play it, it's way more interesting. Yeah. Like, uh, Nite- Nintendo Land, in and of itself, is an amazing game if you have two to three people playing. It seems more like a party console, you know? Yeah. And really, the Wii was, too. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. The Wii was, like, exactly like that, too. Which, good for Nintendo, I mean, but is it going to, like, hold, like, you know what I mean? Is it going to hold those people and want them to come back? You know? Yeah, I think that's the problem. Like, everybody's leaning towards, well, I can play with my friends online. Um, Yeah, I think you lose a lot of that. Oh, we actually lost Mike here because of a Hangout error. Uh, so I want to try to get him back here. Uh, 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 we'll see if we can get him back and maybe answer that question. Uh, Bobby, can you go on to the next story, please? Um, sure. Uh, the at, at Evo this week, the big uh, Street Fighter tournament was held, and they also announced um, new DLC for Street Fighter IV, uh, which is going to be called uh, Street Fighter IV Ultra. Um, they're going to add four new or five new characters. Um, I think Poison, Elena, Hugo. Relento, and then a fifth one they haven't named yet, and they said he's going to be he or she is going to be a character that's never been in Street Fighter before. Um, the safe bet right now is going on uh, Hugo from or not Hugo, Agar from uh, Final Fight. 
Mm. Um, and since he was on, he was in Saturday Night Slam, Saturday Night Slam Masters too, I, I believe. Um, but the, the DLC, if you buy the DLC version of it, it's going to be fourteen ninety nine. Um, if you buy the full retail version of the game, it's going to be um, thirty nine ninety nine. If, and that's a pretty good deal if you haven't gotten like the other expansions, like Super Street Fighter or the Arcade Edition or whatever. I think those are all in, in, in enclosed in it too. So mm-hmm. um, it's a pretty good deal. Um, and it's going to be available in two thousand fourteen sometime. They haven't. They don't have a, 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 a date announced yet. But yeah. Awesome. Okay, I gotta love more Street Fighter, although I'm, I'm on that first one. And yeah, I'm feeling the... Really, another one, I, I'm kind of <laughs> feeling kind of put out by that part. But other than that... But if you add to the experience... Oh, exactly. and it's also, also, the, the game's also going to be rebalanced, too. Okay. Um, based on, on based on player feedback. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Awesome. So. What else we got coming up? Um, Apparently, there's a new Injustice DLC. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's Martian Manhunter and John Stewart and Green Lantern have all been announced. Uh, I guess it's John Stewart, Green Lantern, not John Stewart from uh, Comedy Central's The Daily Show. That's good. He's in, he's in Iran. That's what he's been up to now. So that's what he's been doing. That's not Iran. He's in. That's a uh... yeah. Um, and Sorg, I believe you have uh, your article that you wrote this week on Enter Coin to Begin. Yes, about a uh, certain sale that's going on. Well, yeah, the sale, the sale is well, well. Actually, it wasn't about a specific sale. I didn't realize oh. there was a Steam sale coming on because I've been avoiding them like the <laughs> plague because I like to keep my money. Um, but no, it was more the idea uh, that uh, the that sale, like like I mentioned last week, I picked up Max Payne for ten bucks, which was still great. I, I need. I wish I could have gone back to it in this past week, but obviously that's pretty much impossible. Excuse me, I'm uh, getting Mike back here. The first thing didn't work, um, but then I picked up a couple other things for three, uh, you know, three or three or five bucks or whatever they were, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and in in that this idea that that Microsoft has kind of figured it out uh, that you know they can do this with digital and you know part with my money a little bit easier for stuff that you know hopefully wouldn't. Um, you know, uh, uh, yeah. be an easier, you know, uh, purchase to digest like Steam does because Steam always does the midweek sales. They do these summer crazy summer sales like they're doing now. Uh, and I knew about that because somebody tweeted, "Hey, this game." It might be new, Bobby or, or AJ or something said, "Hey, this game is a, is awesome for that for ten bucks or whatever it is." Um, I can't. Well, I told you about one and you didn't buy it. So uh, I just can't, man. <laughs> no, I, just, I think it was Riz telling you about uh, Hitman. I got this thing on my face. I really can't justify buying anything <laughs> right now. Okay, I, that, that that's part of what what went into that decision. Okay, yeah. um, that's why I'm buying like ten dollar games and then I I finished. Uh, so, um, but yeah, it, it, it's 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 like I said, it's that kind of idea. Where uh, uh, you know they're kind of more social engineering us to get uh, uh, you know these games try out different things like you know I picked up Bulletstorm and if I like it you know what if they do a Bulletstorm two I haven't heard if they are or not um, you know now I'm interested in that you know mm-hmm. there's a chance yeah. for that you know so uh, so yeah that was that was more or less it for for what that entailed uh, so go check that out over at insertcoin so. Has, any, has anybody picked anything up at the Steam sale? Oh, I've been back. I've been <laughs> avoiding it like the plague. So, I, I picked up RPG Maker. So RPG. hopefully, uh, once I figure out how to make a game, I may make a game. Okay. Um, Chach, did you pick anything up? No, nothing. I, I usually don't from Steam. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're more of a console uh, guy now. And or Android. You're you're more of a console and Android guy now. So yeah. So. Uh, everything, everything that I pick up is either Xbox or mobile. But really, in the long run, like like I think the the I think the mobile does the same thing. You know, I mean, they're more even more skewed that well. This game's only going to be a buck, so yeah. that kind of plays. I feel like the same kind of factor. You know what I mean? 
Um, so it's it, it's it, it's kind of nice just to see console games kind of come around to that, which means hopefully I get to play more console games, right, or more different mm-hmm. ones, and not drop sixty bucks on something like that. I still don't yeah, feel exactly. right dropping sixty bucks, fifty bucks, whatever on Deadpool that I want to play on Injustice on Street Fighter. You know, fifteen dollars for WWE thirteen almost talked me into it. Yeah, almost. almost me too, and I, I just almost. didn't. No, I'm like, no, 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 no. I, I, I made my stand on it. Now I'm making my stand on WWE 14, <laughs> it looks like. So uh, so I was going to stand by it. Mike, you're so, back, right? Yes. Hi. Um, so, hi. Uh, we had some internet connection. A little bit, a little bit. Hang out. I have a small hangout problem with this computer, but. Um, have you ever tried Gamefly? Uh, I've not tried Gamefly. I know uh, a friend of ours, Malengo, that's been on the network before. Uh, he tried it, and he said it felt like he couldn't get any of the games he actually wanted. Yeah. So and um, this, this um, is a couple years ago, though. I've been renting console games for them for a couple months now, and it's really effective. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm not going for more of the heavy hitter. You're not um, getting Call games. of Duty when it first comes out or anything. Yeah. No. I, but, I, I, I used mean, to. I don't, uh, you know, but for the ones that I've wanted to play, yeah, they've mm-hmm. come in. It's been really effective for letting me know if I want to buy a game or not. Like mm-hmm. next yeah. on my queue is Deadpool. Nice. I used to I used to uh, subscribe to uh, GameFly too, and I, I had the same problem. I didn't get the games I wanted. But um, Kamel Nanjiani from the Indoor Kids podcast said you you should only ha- list one game at a time. He said it might take two or three days extra, but you'll get the game you want, no matter you know, guaranteed. Because you only have that one game on your queue. Yeah, and, and I think it's kind of like it's even more so because I'm sure they don't have as much of stock as Netflix. But, but Netflix was the same way. It was like, you know, don't expect to get the new release right away. They made it worse with those deals. Uh, but you have a list of all this other kind of back catalog that you've always kind of wanted to get around to, right? Mm-hmm. And I think if you're, you know, really a real gamer, kind of getting into it, don't want just an easy way to get the new stuff. It works out fine. You know, uh, it's not for everybody, right? So. All right. Uh, Sorg, did you want to go back to Matt, uh, the question you had for Mike? Which, about the Wii U? The Wii U. I can't remember what we were on with the Wii U when he dropped out. Were we talking about uh, the party thing? or Yeah, how it's a party console? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it it, it kind of is. I mean, at least the games that have come out now that I've seen. Mm-hmm. But it looks like that... Because uh, the games I have been able to try that are coming out later, like the Mario games, the Mario Kart game. Uh, the new Wario game that's due out, I think, this month or next month. Mm-hmm. It, it looks like it looks like they're getting better with integrating the gamepad into like a single player version. So, it just it, it's a very different way to play a game. Have you, have you played anything online. online yet? What was that? Have you played anything online yet with other people? Um, no, I haven't. My Wi-Fi connection in my living room, where I have it set up, is mm-hmm. not the greatest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I want. I want to try and get it around to trying to install in here and at least checking out the the wi like um, the internet, because mm-hmm. I know they have the whole like online uh, social media type thing. So yeah. I've always been curious how that works. I haven't been able to set it up. Yeah, it, 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 the only online experience I remember ever having with the Wii was uh, Doctor Mario. You know, because uh, they would just randomly pick somebody and play, it, and that was like the only real way you could play it with anybody. So I, I was able to play uh, Smash Bros online. Nice. Yeah, I think I did I'm too. Actually, you. now I think about it, but anything where you didn't have to deal with that code and they just randomly pick somebody yeah. seemed to work okay, but not always. So I don't know. Well, because it also depends on everyone else's connection too. Yeah. I mean, it's just yeah. I don't know. I guess I'm used to like Call of Duty, where there's always a million people on, and I guess that's just not the case with Nintendo. So, oh. Awesome. They're all and there's a million people in your living room playing with you at the same exactly. time. As, exactly. That's the party. only way to do it. <laughs> all right. Um, it's time to move on to our boss battle this week. Okay. Um, what character would you trust enough to save your life? To save your life. Coming down to, to your life and and them saving it. Who do you trust? Oh yeah. What do you choose, Bobby? I'm gonna go with Drake from Uncharted. Okay. I think he's trustworthy. Pretty much, uh, he's a good, good role model. He could, he'll save me. <laughs> I'll second that, but the other way, and go with Laura Croft. Okay, there you go. I was gonna go with Link, but I just don't trust him enough. But uh, <laughs> he's too young. 
and Too much I of a am basing standard. this on just having rewatched uh, with uh, within, within recent months the Tomb Raider movies. So, yeah, hmm. the Tomb Raider movies. Yes. <laughs> What? Well, are we hating on the Tomb Raider movies now? They weren't that bad. No, no, no. I mean, no, consider no, these fine. were like actually, 2000, okay? Con confession, I have a Angelina Jolie Tomb Raider poster in my bedroom. <laughs> That's awesome. You win. Uh, you win. Uh, Mike, who do you pick? Who would you pick? Who would you pick? Um, I would probably pick Mario because okay. uh, he's a local. He, know, he knows the subway. He knows the sewer system around here. Okay, so. but do you live in the Mushroom Kingdom? Can we qualify? Is that the Anthony Hopkins Mario or? Hey, you know what? Bob if Hoskins. he brings along John Leguizamo, <laughs> yes, that absolutely is. Bob Hoskins, not Anthony Hopkins. Yeah, Anthony Bob Hopkins. Hopkins Mario would be even better because then you would have me with Fava Beans and a nice Chianti. Who did I say? Wait, wait, wait who's princess. the guy that I said? <laughs> You uh, said the guy from um, Sound of the Lecter. Lambs. The guy, uh, you know what? <laughs> Hannibal Lecter would also yeah. save me because I'd imagine I was a tasty peach. Hello, Princess Peach. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Judge, who would you pick? <laughs> well, see, I like, so like, I was going to go with uh, <laughs> Link, but uh, no. I wouldn't trust that lazy shit. Um, Link, was, Link, Link beats the game on accident, man. I'm yeah, it, that's exactly what happens. He he figures out all the puzzles. And he he beats Ganon on pure luck <laughs> all the if time. If there were more um, chickens around, he never would have gotten around to it. Exactly. Right. exactly. Um, so I would have to go with Samus. Oh, good. All right, all right. She's got the suit to play. And Samus, Samus would uh would save not my Samus from heartbeat. Metroid Other M though. What, All of it. What's uh, what's the difference between the other M one? I never played that she one. She was very whiny in other. Oh, uh, was like Japanese it or was, something, right? It wasn't her fault. It was it was how she was written. It was just that was a terrible. Well, that's movie. the one that was like made by a Japanese company, like Bandai or Namco or something, it, it, right? N Team Ninja, I think. So, like, did she also have like a a, a plaid skirt, schoolgirl skirt uh, on yeah, suit or something? Like that. Too? It, it was just kind of the trend, right? I mean, and yeah, it was it was awful. It's not by the same people that did her alive, right? Like, she wasn't. No, it wasn't that bad, but it okay. was like she she just pined over this one guy, and and he wouldn't she wouldn't use her powers unless he allowed her to. Oh my god! What, yeah. what the hell? <laughs> no, terrible. no, no! My my Samus is an independent woman with a sweet exactly. suit, you know, badass, you know. I mean, I, I you know you know if there was a Metroid movie, I would pick uh, Starbuck from the new Battle Star Galactic. Ah, the yeah. Plan. There you go. There you go, uh, Michelle Rodriguez. I would pick Anthony also, Hopkins. Also, also applicable, <laughs> and Anthony Hos Hopkins. <laughs> Anthony course. Hopkins is my hero. Uh, yeah, Anthony Hopkins is Mario. <laughs> I don't. All right, guys. <laughs> and the, man with that, the, the, the Mario suit and the face thing and 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 everything. Oh, go save me, Bobby. Save me from that. Right, now guys. I'm picturing Anthony Hopkins getting the cat power up from the new Mario game, and I'm very intrigued by that concept. Weird, weird image of John Leguizamo chasing ghosts with a vacuum cleaner, though. That's right. That's right. I would be uh, sweet. Yes. I would watch that movie. He would. Be an awesome. Did you no, see you that wouldn't. picture of the uh, most Super be an Mario awesome Bros. movie action figure I found for the Fourth of July post? That was amazing. I had no idea those existed, and I don't <laughs> know why I don't own them. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us this week, guys. Um, our challenge for this week is one of my favorite and your favorite games, Silver Surfer. Oh, we what? Tried, what? What? We tried yeah. to have it before, but it was vetoed, and now it's back. It's vetoed. The hardest game of all time. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't know No that. difficulty level, no game genie. <laughs> all right. No, 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 no. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way you can't get past one level like that. How do you even? What? All the right. lizard so people. To find out how we do with Silver Surfer, you can follow us on at InsertCoinTV. You can go to our website at InsertCoinToBegin.com. Um, and that'll do it for us this week, guys. Game over. <laughs>